Welcome to Christie's Corner. My name is Christy Gleason. I am the head golf professional at Kingswood Golf Club located in Wolfboro, New Hampshire. Today I'd like to go over a few golf tips on how to become a better putter this season. Hopefully it will help your game. The first thing we're going to cover is the straight back, straight through stroke. If you have a floorboard at home, in the house, you can put the front part of your putter up against the floorboard, put your head up against the wall, and use the baseboard of your home as a straight back, straight through apparatus. Here today, I'm using a 2x4 to show you a straight back, straight through putting stroke. Many amateurs will take the, the putter itself and they will go either what's called outside or they will come inside. That's referred to as the path of the putting stroke. Today I'm going to help you become a better straight back, straight through putter. So, one, we want to cover ball position. The ball position should be one ball left of, if this was center, your stance, one ball left of center. That helps keep the face of the putter where it's supposed to be at impact, centeredness at contact. Two is the actual stroke, which is more of a pendulum motion or a shoulder rock, rocking back and forth. So to demonstrate ball position, inside left of center, and the shoulders rock back and through. And again, I'll show you one more. Ball position left of center, shoulders work back and through. So ideally, we want to get the shoulders working as a unit versus your hands becoming too much within the stroke. Ball position, one, two, shoulders rocking back and forth. Another good drill you can do is just allowing your shoulders to rock back and forth. Or without the putter, just put your hands on your arms, rock the shoulders back and forth. The third concept, or the third golf tip I'd like to cover today is tempo. Whether you have a four foot putt or you have a 30 foot putt, the only thing that changes in a good putting stroke is the length of the stroke. So on a four foot putt, the tempo, we call it tick tock or one 1000, two 1000. You can use your own words, but tick talk. Oh, that's a good one. Try that again. Tick talk. So the same tempo, whether it's a four foot putt versus a 30 foot putt. Again, the only thing that changes is a shorter putt has a shorter stroke, a longer putt has a longer stroke, but the tempo remains the same. Lastly, I'd like to cover the, the fourth and final golf tip is the pressure. Pressure of the hold or the grip. When you make a Putting grip, you want the grip to be more in the palms versus the fingers like a normal golf club. The putter should be rested in the palms. The pressure should never change. A great putter doesn't change the pressure of their hands. So if you start out with a firm pressure, keep it firm all the way through. If you start out with a soft pressure, keep it soft all the way through. That will eliminate a lot of problems at impact. I hope you enjoyed today's session on putting. Again, my name is Christy Gleason. This is Christy's Corner from Kingswood Golf Club. Please join us again next time.